Yes, a lot of renovation needs to be done here. We took over about one and a half year ago and a previous manager, he didn't do a lot about investing in the lodge. That's why we now are rethatching the roof because we had some leaks and in the rainy season you don't want to have too many leaks. Yeah, income is very important for us and the lodge needs to be in a good condition. Then more guests will come. We have more income and then we can do some more projects in Kasungu National Park and around. We don't get any salary out of it. We, uh, we put everything in the projects. It goes to communities and uh, protecting wildlife and nature. And that's uh, what we want to do. So what's the difference between Lifupa and Act to Protect? Lifupa is part of Act to Protect. Act to Protect is a Dutch foundation that we have a lodge in a national park and then we do a lot for wildlife and nature together with the communities. Act to Protect is a non-profit organization. We have three areas. We have Act, Share and Invest. Act is the volunteer side. So we love to have volunteers here who help us and help the communities to set up uh, projects and do these projects. Share is all about communities outside the park. So try to set up businesses together with the communities so they get alternatives, other money, out of businesses instead of going to the national park and poach animals or get wood from the park, things like that. So that's share. We focus on working together with the communities to um, set up some businesses for them. Um, but they have to come with ideas and they have to write a business plan. It's not that we are going to do it, so they are motivated and we just help them where we can. It's not that we tell everything what they need to do. You need to educate them, you need to involve them because they are also a part of this national park and we need to conserve this and we need the communities for that. So that's share. We like to set up businesses together with them. Okay. And the invest part is more or less the bigger organizations um, like Alliance One. We like to work together with them to do reforestation here around Kasungu National Park because still communities come into the national park and chop wood for instance. It's nice relaxing here. The view of course is beautiful. Sometimes you will see the elephants over there. Of course again the view is beautiful. At night the hippos will come here. Yes, and, uh, this place is huge. You have so much going on. Yeah this place is the campsite and uh, if people like to bring their own tent, they want to cook for themselves, it's all possible here. If we have volunteers who stay for a longer time and their brother or sister or maybe parents like to come over to see what he or she is doing, mm. then they're most welcome and then if you don't have a high budget then we have some safari huts here or they bring their own tent and then they cook their food and then eat here. Yeah, for everybody uh, there is a choice. If they bring their own, own food, they can come here. But if they like to join us in a restaurant, it's also possible. Then they just go to the restaurant and have a really nice three-course dinner. If they don't mind to have their own bathroom, you can sleep here. You have a shared bathroom, shared showers. If you go to the lodge, you have your own rendezvous with bathroom inside. Well, the kitchen. God, this area could be a facility on its own. This is great. Yeah. Everything really boils down to conservation, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. If you come here to do an um, education volunteer project, or you do research, or you work together with the communities, every time you're part of protecting Kasungu National Park. So when you go back home, you have that in mind. I was, oh, I was part of protecting a huge national park. And that, I think it makes really nice to come here as a volunteer. It's not coming here, do something, come back. But you're actually part of this uh, nature conservation plan that we have here in Kasungu National Park. And I want to share this with uh, many other people. They can have this experience to be here and do good things. Do you think I people learn from being here? Oh, especially, yes. I had already some volunteers and they went home, not as a different person, but they realized that there is more than only their own country and their life and their world. Yeah, they think more about um, their life is a little bit like a heavy word, but they yeah, they change. They change in the way of thinking. So I like to have more people here who just can have this experience and this adventure and also do something and not just having a holiday outside somewhere, spending money, but spending money on things that that you actually be involved and that you know that you're part of nature conservation, that you're helping the national park, the wildlife, the nature and also communities. And I think that gives you a really good feeling when you go back home and not 
just spending some time at the beach and drinking and party, but actually do something. I hope with Act to Protect we can get that uh, or reach that goal with some volunteers. It's such a privilege that uh, that we got the concession with Act to Protect. It was a long wait, but we got it. So now we have to make something out of it. And we're going to do it. We're going to make something really nice out of it. We've been to loads of places along the lake and they have their own vibe. and. We've been to lots of places inland as well, but this is kind of its own little world again. Or because the community is made up of people who work within the park. So the local village here is within the park and everybody's involved with the work of the park. It's its own little enclosed universe where conservation is the key. So you kind of do get that nice feel of once you're out here, you're really, really here within it. I really like that at the centre of what they do is Le Fupa Lodge and that is an income generating business. The lodge itself is invested in the sustainability and the conservation of the park because if the animals aren't conserved, the lodge won't do well. If the lodge does well, then it has more money to invest in the work that it's doing to increase conservation. So I really like that. It's a very self-contained project, self-sustainable. I think that's a great, great model. Remke, who's the general manager of the lodge here, she's so into what she's doing here. She's so involved. She loves it. You can tell, you know, the passion for it. Everything she does is about the animals. It's infectious, her enthusiasm. She's a volunteer. She's not even getting paid for this. This is her life. She's been here almost two years now. And this was something she was preparing for for many, many years. This is her dream. But if you're coming here, you need to share that passion. You need to be very, very passionate about the conservation of this park and the protection of the wildlife here. If you're not that into wildlife, don't come here. Go somewhere else. But if you're into it, wow, this is a, an amazing opportunity to really, really just get into the park and the wildlife and the, the African bush setting. It's amazing.